after today, it's just I've never ever in my life, and I'm probably gonna tell my kids that like 50 million times when I when I get old that I went up to podium three times in one day. You know, it's, it's just what can I say? It's just amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at how much how much interest from not just snowboard industry, just everybody's just freaking out. I mean, this sport never ceases to amaze anybody, and me especially. I mean, I just, you know, this year the whole Olympics deal, and it, I don't know, there must be something inherent in the sport of snowboarding, or just surfing down a mountain that's pretty cool, because it just keeps going. Working for riders and by riders, TTR is continually adapting with the evolution of snowboarding. And with the new double flips being rewarded, some are afraid that we are losing style in competitive snowboarding. You know what? It, it, it is dangerous. Uh, I think right now is a really, we are kind of on the top of the fence, could go either way. Um, but I think style is never going to slip out completely. And from a judging standpoint, some of the events take that a little bit more seriously than others. I like to think the TTR based events all value style right up there. Everybody is born with a different uh, style. You know, that's the way we move and walk and run and how you hold your arms and uh, just the way maybe they look at things and they express themselves. And uh, you know, some styles you like more than others. <laughs> and uh, in action sport, you know, there's a lot of style is important, you know. Style is when you do a trick and, for example, when you grab your board, how you tweak it and how you're at the air and how you land, how you ride. Just everything. Style is personality. It's your, it's your persona. It's your soul. I wrote down on the board what style was, and the first thing that I wrote down was method. It's like the whip of snowboarding. It's something that everybody starts off trying to do, and the people that lock it down and just hone it in. Um, just an amazing trick that you can express yourself and that method can last for years. So you look at Chaz Gouldemont, just throw it sideways and you know that he's been studying the history books. Uh, one of the style factors in snowboarding for sure is, is, is the method error. But there are a lot of methods out there that I really like, but Jamie Lynn's definitely is one of the ones who impressed me from day one. <laughs> The reason the method is, is the benchmark for a person's style, number one, if you're doing it off of anything big, it's all about keeping yourself quiet in the air, keeping yourself composed. And at the same time, you're fighting your body's natural instinct, which is to square up with the landing. You're pulling your board in front of you, and then you have to hold it and keep you know, your wits about you and just hold on. The method's all about like the getting that arched back and the massive extension and retweaking it out. And Parkinson for sure, and Muller who's like, let's face it, the student, possibly even excelling the master. It's the most expressive way to get across who you are as a snowboarder on the mountain. It's a personal mark of style for each rider, and in my opinion, if you can't do a quiet, calm, collected method over a jump, then maybe figure that out before you start doing 1080s. <laughs>